if I could have done it in advance, I would have canceled my trip if I knew this is how I would be received when I first arrived to the country, et cetera, et cetera. So, and then he said, how was it going through immigration? And I said, um, what do you mean? And he said, our immigration is, is quite racist to black people. And this is him saying it. I did not bring this up. I would be very, very cautious about going to Mauritius. Man. What's good, everybody? I'm gonna give you guys today a breakdown of my experience with race and being a black man, specifically a black American in the African island nation of Mauritius. Now, you've probably never heard of Mauritius, and if that's the case, you're not alone. I visited this country recently, and I hadn't even heard of it until about a year or two ago. Actually, a year ago, I had no idea what Mauritius was. So I'm going to give you a little bit of background on the island. So Mauritius is an island off the coast of East Africa, way out in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And this island is considered a part of Africa. It's grouped into the African region. It's not grouped into India or Asia or anything else, right? Hit that like button. I'm putting in work out here. I swear to y'all, I'm putting in work. And uh, just stay tuned. So this is the final African country if you're heading to the east. There are no more African countries after this country. So as you can imagine, due to the location of where it is, it's not part of the continent of Africa. Their culture and their history is quite unique. And for people who have never traveled to Africa before, there is an assumption that African nations are all black nations. They think that most people in Africa look like me. And as I've traveled at this point to over 12 African nations, <clears throat> I'm learning that this is not the case. So in Mauritius, the majority of the population is actually Indian. And this is kind of a shocker to people who imagine Africa, but when you consider that it is located in the Indian Ocean, Indian migrants have been coming to this island for centuries, right? You've also got a British influence there, and then you also have a French influence due to the history of colonialism. And then, of course, you have people who came from the continent of Africa as workers or for other reasons who lived and have a history in the island of Mauritius. Now, as I said, the, the island is majority Indian descent, over 50%. Then you have Creoles, which are mixed people, um, black and white, black and Indian, black and whatever else. And then maybe you have a very small segment of pure blacks, and then you have a very small segment of pure whites. So the island is a mix of colors and shades, but I, people that look like me are definitely not in the majority, right? So when I flew into the airport, this is when I got hit with the worst racism that I've experienced anywhere in Africa. So when the plane landed, you get into the airport and first off, I wanna tell you that most of the people who visit Mauritius are namely British people, Germans, a few other random European nations, and perhaps a few South Africans as well, typically white ones, not as many black South Africans. So this is kind of what they're used to seeing in the nation. But as an American, we are granted 90 days on arrival in the country, in theory at least, on paper. So I get to the immigration office. There's no visa necessary, but they do make you fill out a form uh, electronically and you do it right before you uh, go and see the agent, right? So I'm coming up to immigration and I got the rudest, most suspicious treatment that I've experienced not only in Africa, but in many, many years, 
which I travel all over the world. I know when something just doesn't feel right and I'm being singled out and discriminated against. And this was the case uh, with this immigration agent, right? I, I was getting all kind of probing questions, really being scrutinized heavily. Um, and the guy can look at my passport and see I'm a traveler. I'm not planning on overstaying. I, I have an itinerary. Everything is above board. I'm coming to your country to give you money and you disrespect me due to the color of my skin. So that was the first impression of the country. He stamps me in. Then you have a health check. And I have to say this for the record that the guy who was doing the immigration, every immigration agent that I saw was of Indian descent. Now, like I said, they are the majority, so it's not surprising that you would see a lot of them. But without fail, every single agent was of Indian descent. And then I got to the customs. Well, then I got to the health check, right? The health check, same thing. Everybody was of Indian descent. You would have thought that you landed in Sri Lanka. You would have thought that you landed in Mumbai, in India. That's how Indian it was, right? So this person too, very rude. It was a female, very rude. Um, like I said, this is a health check. There's no need to be rude about it. I mean, I'm already, I've already been granted entry into your country. And I saw the way they were treating other white travelers. They were get, being greeted with smiles. They were let to pass right away. And then after this, I go to pick up my luggage and I get to where the, uh, the customs is, right? I get stopped. Out jumps another Indian woman, right? Very, very rude. Um, looking at me super suspiciously. And no, I did not have my hat on backwards because I know people are going to say, well, it's because of the way you're dressed. No, that had nothing to do with it. Um, I was looking like a, a typical traveler. Um, I have my laptop with me, you know, in a, in a um, you know, in a case. I don't look like I'm just coming to um, to loot, rob and steal or uh, overstay a visa or whatever they think black people are going to do. Now, I want to say for context, Mauritius is considered the fourth highest GDP in Africa. Uh, out of what, 52, 54 African countries, they are number four in, in wealth, practically. And because of this, I think there's an assumption that poor Africans from the continent want to move to their country, overstay their visa, and get, get jobs and make money in their economy. That's what I believe the perception is, right? And so I was getting the third degree from this woman. And like I said, this is a treatment that I don't receive anywhere. So it's not, like I said, it's not because of my hair. It's not because of my American passport. It's solely due to the color of my skin. They really do not want to see more black people from the continent or they assume are from the continent to come to their country because they're relatively prosperous for Africa. But um, as I said, I'm an American. I have no reason to want to overstay in Mauritius. I'm coming here to spend money. You guys should be greeting me with a smile. Not all this undue scrutiny when you don't have that same energy for white travelers who come to your country. Now, like I said, she gave me the third degree. You would think that I was um, I was landing in Switzerland and, you know, this is the best country in the world. I was landing in Monaco and everybody's a millionaire or something like that. That's how 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 tight and how much scrutiny I got as a black traveler trying to visit Mauritius, spend my tourist dollars, go to the beaches. And I can say that it was it left a really bad taste in my mouth. Um, if I could have done it in advance, I would have canceled my trip if I knew this is how I would be received when I first arrived to the country. So, as I said, I've already gone through three checks of very rude, very discriminatory people. Now I have to get a SIM card. I get to the desk to get a SIM card. Again, it's an Indian woman. Horrible treatment. Very, very rude. Pretty much rolled her eyes at me, was speaking very condescendingly towards me. Uh, just very disrespectful. Um, and like I said, if I knew the country was going to have this type of energy, I just would have canceled my trip. And, you know, this really already set up in my mind that this is a country that doesn't want you here. They're going to tolerate you, but that's going to be the extent of it, right? So Mauritius is considered an English-speaking country, but 
the day-to-day transactions of local people, the way they communicate with each other is actually in uh, Mauritian French Creole. Their language is like 90% French and then they have their own flavor, their own words, their own linguistic uh, changes that they do to it. But if you only speak English, you're going to be fine. Everyone's going to understand you. If you speak French even better, everyone's going to understand you. You will have no issues. So after that horrible treatment, horrible arrival into the country, I was greeted by my Airbnb host. And this guy is, um, he's of mixed like Indian and Muslim descent. And this guy was very refreshing. He actually um, was the first positive side that I've seen of the country. He was asking me how, how my trip was, how the travel, et cetera, et cetera. And then he said, how was it going through immigration? And I said, um, what do you mean? And he said, our immigration is, is quite racist to black people. And this is him saying it. I did not bring this up. I did not hint that I had any bad experience. He said this right off the blue once he saw what I looked like. He said, I assume that they treated you horribly. And he was 100% right. And it goes to show you that not everybody in Mauritius is racist. Not everyone is going to treat you bad. But he already knows the perception of black travelers. He already knows that the country does not welcome black tourists. If I was a black tourist and I was considering spending my hard earned tourist dollars in a country, I would be very, very cautious about going to Mauritius. Now, after that horrible experience in the airport, after that horrible introduction to the country, as I said, my Airbnb host was amazing. He picked me up from the airport, drove me around, showed me some different sites in the city, uh, showed me to my accommodation, and my accommodation was nice. I got settled in the country and started attending a gym. The guys in the gym were amazing, very friendly guys, all locals. A lot of them were of Muslim background. And I think this is a factor in that the Muslim community in Mauritius is not the majority. So they kind of feel like, okay, we are also a minority. We're a smaller group. So we have to, you know, be a little more tight knit, be a little more friendly to others versus the kind of majority dynamics of um, we, we have the power and we want to show we have the power, etc. that some of the Indian folks practice in Mauritius. Now, I don't want to slander every Indian person in Mauritius. I had several uh, people of Indian background, typically the guys who I had to ask for information on the street or I had different questions or, you know, they met me around town and they were very friendly, very welcoming, um, especially when they found out I was an American. They were very curious about that. But the females in uh, Mauritius, the ones of Indian descent, were very rude, very disrespectful. And I'm not even talking about a dating aspect because I didn't go to Mauritius looking to date anyone. I knew I was going to be there for a very short time. But I'm just talking about just normal human interactions that you're going to have to do with people no matter where you go around the world. They were just very rude um, and did not make you feel welcome at all. So I just want to let everybody know this up front. Know that. Um, now, to get away from the negative aspects of Mauritius, the beaches in Mauritius are very beautiful. The water is clean. It's warm. You have amazing views. You could probably see uh, straight to the bottom fish, all kind of wildlife and things like that. The island is very hot. It's humid. If you like that, that tropical vibe, that tropical feel, you're going to love it. The food is very good. If you like spicy food, you're going to enjoy it. They've obviously got Indian cuisine. They've got different uh, Middle Eastern type cuisines. And then they also have their own kind of uh, French Creole twist to seafood dishes and things. So overall, I think the culinary experience is going to be very good for most people. I will say that the Creole community, the blacks in Mauritius are living on the margins for the most part, based on what I saw. So if you see a homeless person in Mauritius, in primarily in the capital in Port Louise, nine times out of 10, they're going to be somebody with my skin complexion. 
So there is some kind of a negative stigma towards uh, being darker or being of continental African descent if you're in Mauritius. Most of the people that you see uh, doing the low class jobs, the entry level stuff, the unskilled stuff also is going to be people of a African continental look and, um, you know, these are very complex issues and I'm not going to unpack everything in Mauritius society because I'm not an expert, but I watched some other YouTuber videos who spent time in Mauritius as well, who were of black descent. One was Nigerian. The other guy was from the States like myself, different complexion, but no long hair like me. So it's not about the hair because um, I know people will dismiss it and say, well, it's because you look like a Rasta, you look like a drug dealer. No, that's not what it is. It's it's different. Um, it's a lot deeper than that. So that being said, that's pretty much all I got to say about Mauritius. If you've got any comments, questions, if you disagree with me, you think that is cap, let me know down below. And like that, we out of here. This was your guy, Jay Focus, reminding you to stay focused. Focus, man.